maximum sentence being carried he was disqualified by the parliament if it was a day less than 2 years he would not have I don't know what this halabaloo is all about, and I am sorry uh, that I, I, I find you completely wrong. It is not the Congress that is celebrating; it is the BJP. Exactly. Those guys are dancing in the aisles. Their star campaigner is back on the road again. What are you talking about, Swati? If in the last three months the BJP had predicted it's going to win 250 seats in the next elections, now that Ash has asked, he is confident of 350 seats now. So there we go. What is the controversy about? No, but to be very honest. There are two points here. Number one, as far as this verdict is concerned, number of uh, of the Supreme Court for Congress saying that is a victory of democracy. It is, as Shahzad correctly pointed out, technically the Supreme Court has not overturned the lower court verdict. The Supreme Court has stayed it. Number two, it has stayed it for a reason that the judge in the lower court did not explain why it is. the the uh, the sentence is to be carried for the maximum applicable sentence of 2 years that is what the supreme court said because supreme court said that because of that maximum sentence being carried he was disqualified by the parliament if it was a day less than 2 years he would not have hmm. so I, i mean to be honest with you the supreme court has asked a legitimate question to the lower court and i'm surprised by the lower court did not answer it hmm. number 2 as far as rahul gandhi is concerned when he said i will not apologize i am not a sabarkar this really dastardly statement is it not a fact i asked tasin and other spokespersons out here uh, people out here did he not apologize to supreme court in the chokidar chor hai judgment when supreme court asked him to rahul gandhi apologized hmm. so i don't know whether he is sabarkar but he is too too little to be like veer sabarkar but the fact of the matter is he is again a hypocrite and a liar number 3 finally i have already said from the day this verdict or conviction was announced that it's a very thin case and tasin is a shahzad is here it's a very thin case swati against rahul gandhi okay. principally for the reason that there is ample evidence and I have mr sanjay hegde who is a lawyer 2006 vardarajan versus state madras high court judgment then again ratified by 2018 andhra high court judgment that group def- uh, defamation is not valid if an individual has not been defamed to give you an example if i were to say that the pune walas make horrendous idlis that are as hard as pavement stone they can't sue me but if i say tasin makes horrible idlis and he is unfit to make cook okay. anything tasin can sue me hmm. so individually narendra modi could have sued nirav modi could have sued rahul gandhi but group defamation is not valid and trust me later on maybe a year later or whenever people analyze this court judgment or it goes to the higher court high court or supreme court these are the two high court judgments they going to court mat